Hey guys, it's that again. Well, I think we got it all figured out. Um, thanks to uh, this old outboard and explaining this situation to me and how this thing works, we have uh, figured that out. It isn't still opening all the way, but like he said, I could be a tooth off over here on the uh, the gear right in there. I don't think you guys can see it. Oh, yeah, you can right there. That's the, the gear. Maybe I'm off a tooth there or two. Uh, I went with the 64 carburetor. As you can see, it has the electric choke. I have not hooked that up yet. I actually have no idea. I think um, it just needs a power source put to it. Otherwise, um, I think it's unchoked. But I did notice that this has this carburetor has a lever. I don't know if you guys can see in there, but it's opening. See the plate? It's closing, opening, closing. So I think I can just choke it by hand for now and figure that out. Um, the jet I got set kind of in the middle, about a turn and a quarter out, according to the manual. I got this uh, hot air line hooked up. I got a hose going here to this vacuum. This is coming off up behind the carburetor on that manifold. There's a there's a hose in there. Not sure that's where it goes, but that's where I hooked it up to the switch. And this port here goes in to nothing. So I may have to screw a plug in this. There wasn't anything in it, I don't recall. So we may have to plug that one off. And the other thing I plugged off was over here, this piece right here. This was, I believe, hot water that went up to the choke on the 63, had a hot water choke. So the other block, the other, yeah, I guess this would be the block, uh, had this um, casting but it wasn't tapped in. This one here, I assume, has been tapped into the water jacket. So I just put a real ugly um, plug, took the hose and just cut it and put a little silicone on it and screwed a bolt in it. Uh, fuel pump, let's see here. Here's the new fuel pump. I got the fuel line coming in, going over to an inline filter. I did not use the crazy glass sediment bowl filter I think these are a little more up-to-date kind of made a nice loop here so you could see it over here bring it around nice and smooth bring it over through here and popped it out to this side I believe that's the inlet it does not say but I'm somebody said that I had explained it wrong so so if I did then this will be the inlet and then that one down here will be the outlet and then the outlet goes over to the carburetor fuel line. So, <laughs> and I hooked up the generator and I hooked up the recoil and I checked it for spark. And guess what? I had spark on both cylinders and <laughs> I think I'm pretty close. I think we're getting real close. Um, the only thing I don't have is a primer bulb. Uh, I have a brand new fuel tank. I was just sizing up the fuel line here. I don't know how long the standard fuel line is, maybe five, six feet, but I did buy a brand new six gallon tank. I figure that's about enough gas to uh, uh, maybe take it around the lake once. Uh, it's not a very big lake. Uh, I could use that old tank. She's a beauty. Um, I actually do keep gas in that, so uh, it's uh, I keep my uh, gas tank for the uh, Galaxy. But um, yeah, so anyway, that's kind of where we're at. Oh yeah, I put um, I, I grease the uh, put new gear oil in the bottom end. Uh, I put the, took the screw out in the bottom, took that screw out up here. Put this cool little contraption over here. Um, see, this little pumpy dumpy thing I picked up at Wally World. 
and threw that up in here, pumped that thing, and filled it up until the oil came out that upper screw. And then, um, so I think, tightened up these bolts. I even hooked this contraption up. I don't think I have it right. I need to figure out where this rod goes. See this little connecting rod? It hooks up here to a lever somewhere. Where's that lever? Right there. You guys can see it kind of working here, doing its thing. So that's, I almost thought it hooked in that little hole right there. You guys might be able to see that. There's a little hole. Maybe it fishes into there and then that yanks it up. But there's another one on the other side too. Do I need two of them to pull evenly or is it just enough to pull up? I tried hooking it in here, back here and just letting it hook around this bar. But then it wouldn't let it drop in far enough to catch this pin. So I hooked these springs up over here. Not sure these are right. Um, you guys will tell me if I did it wrong. So... I think, oh yeah, I also, I rigged this up. This has uh, these Packard connections. Now we know why Packard went out of business. Um, <laughs> so I got to get a little boot or something. I'm going to cut a piece of fuel line, I think, and just slide that over there. I think I got a thin piece or plastic fuel line or uh, plastic airline or something. And I just, I, it was too short because I think this was designed to go around the other way. So I had to make a little extension and you need enough play in it when the uh, um, throttle linkage moves around, moves that plate around, it will, uh, you know, not catch. So, oh yeah, I got to put a screw in there. Just noticed that. I took the screw out because I had it mounted over here. What did I do with that screw? Hmm. Did I throw it in here? Yep, there it is. So, uh, we'll tighten that screw up in here. And um, so I think I'm ready, except for a primer bulb, and I got to get some gas. So anyway, my battery's running low. I'm shooting this on my phone. I'm going to cut this off here, and the next time you see it, it'll be in a bucket of water, I promise you. And we'll have a fuel primer on it and fuel line and a gas tank, and it'll start to first pull, just like, just like this old outboard, man. But I am going to try doing the uh, the uh, Indian uh, Pray to the Gods dance, the Evinrude Gods, the OMC Gods. So um, he was praying to the Johnson Gods, but we're going to try the uh, the Evinrude or the Effinrude Gods. So guys, thanks again for watching, commenting. Please subscribe if you like this. I really do appreciate it. I picked up a few new subs, and I want to thank all you guys that have subbed on there and, uh, and continue to keep watching me. So... Uh, We'll talk to you later. Bye.